Now, shifting uh, to another huge problem in the world, which is uh, the cold weather. In fact, it's so cold in Siberia that people from the town of Oymyakon have been posting selfies online, showing their frozen eyelashes. The temperature in the Siberian town has dipped to minus 62 degrees Celsius, and people living in the area have been posting their pictures online, which shows very clearly cycles of ice around their eyelashes. The people can be seen wearing thick coats with their faces wrapped, but that's obviously not enough to keep the cold out. About 500 people live in this town in Siberia. A digital thermometer was also installed in the village last year, but it stopped working after recording a temperature of minus 62 degrees Celsius. And Siberia is not the only region. In fact, all over Russia, temperatures are absolutely plummeting. They have plunged to near a record low, throwing normal life out of gear. Temperatures in diamond-rich Russian region of Yakutia fell to minus 67 degrees Celsius in some areas. Schools were closed throughout the Yakutia region, about 3,300 miles east of Moscow. Students in the Yakutia region routinely go to school in minus 40 degrees, but the local police ordered parents to keep their children at home. Two people froze to death when they tried to walk to a nearby farm after their car broke down. Three other men with them survived just because they were wearing warmer clothes. This is a sort of an unprecedented wave of cold targeting the old Russia, specifically in Siberia, where there is a village where temperatures went as low as minus 62 degrees Celsius. That's reported to be nearly as cold or even more than Mars. People have been posting selfies and have been posting pictures of their eyelashes completely encircled with ice. And it is also a very dangerous situation because, for instance, in another region in Russia where temperatures hit as low as minus 67 degrees, we have, there have been reported the death of three men have been reported because their car broke down and they tried to walk to a farm to seek assistance. And joining us on the broadcaster for more on this story, we have Dan Ashby, an avian correspondent currently in Moscow. Thank you very much, Dan, for joining me on the broadcaster tonight. So, amazing cold, I would say, minus 67 degrees Celsius in certain zones of Russia. What kind of precautions is the government taking for this? Yes, as you say, uh, minus more than minus 60 in some parts of Russia. You probably can see a, a sprinkling of snow over my right shoulder here in Moscow. Here it's a warm, almost tropical uh, minus six. But when you look at the other regions, Yakutia, for example, it's plummeted to below minus 60. So cold there that thermometers are breaking. Uh, they are having to stop some children from going to school. But to be honest, uh, most people living in those areas are trying to go about their lives as normal. We've seen interviews with people on the streets where they say, you know, all you need is a, a warm piece of clothing, a good woolly sweater and a good hardy spirit. And they're out, they're walking about in ice fog. There was one interview of a unemployed pensioner who said, I love my region. And to be honest, isn't, this isn't that cold. So at the moment, life there is continuing as normal but police are warning parents to keep their children at home in some areas they have closed the schools and also uh, we know that uh, in the last i would say months uh, due to some uh, persisting sanctions uh, the heating systems uh, in russia have been quite hit is it a problem that is happening i mean is it hitting the families or people are coping up as you say that they are pretty much used to cold so this is nothing but normal for them Yeah, for most Russians, this is uh, completely normal. People, whatever the weather is outside, they go about their business. It has to be said here in Moscow, for example, there is a fantastic central heating system. Uh, a lot of it is managed centrally, and you often go into buildings from sub-zero temperatures outside to find huge buildings uh, really well heated. So, of course, in a place like Russia, business has to continue. The, the cold can't stop things, but these temperatures are still quite low for Russia, particularly in those outlying regions, like I say. In those places, they have had to close school for children just to keep things safe. But uh, 
adults by and large are still going about their business and of course they're used to it it's been like this for years but I think just in the last few days as it dropped towards the minus 67 it has to be said of course that minus 68 would be a record that wasn't that low in, for about more than 80 years here in Russia so just in the last few days where it's got that particularly cold people have started to notice it not enough I have to say to make local headlines in the area so yes they are continuing their business the heating system is holding up and people are going about their usual day's activities. Interesting to note that you referred as a minus six degrees as a slightly tropical temperature. It's strange for us here in India to hear you saying that. What about the public transport, the airport? So everything is running, no flight delaying, nothing like that. Yes, everything by and large continues as normal because they have a, a very good system of dealing with the snow. When you wake up, you see uh, people taking to the streets, cleaning pathways, cleaning roads. It's not uncommon to be walking down a street and see a, a load of diggers go by and, and, and shoveling and various vehicles. And that system, of course, has been in place for years and years. So, of course, Russia couldn't allow the weather uh, to get in the way of business because it happens. It goes below sub-zero, even in Moscow, every single year. So the transport system is very good. And of course, Moscow in particular has a, a very efficient, a very well run metro system, uh, which keeps going all year round. So no, things are continuing. Uh, even in, in the outlying region, some people are even enjoying the, the minus 60 degrees. They're going outside taking selfies where the moisture on their own eyelashes has frozen over and yet they're out there taking pictures of themselves. Thank you very much, Dan Ashby, our correspondent in Moscow. Let's see if the temperature breaks the record of minus 68. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so, saying that in Moscow they are very much organized with a wave of cold, so life is going on.